Welcome to Droppy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I'm Karina. And I'm I'm blowing on the cartridge. Ew. I'm plugging in to the, the coaxial cable to the antenna slot on my television. Uh-huh. I don't like the sound of this. I'm pushing the, the power button on my Nintendo Entertainment Center. Do you guys Nintendo- remember the really springy noise when you put the little lid down? Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, that lives in my brain, so... I never had an NES. Well, if you did you would be as excited as I am to do the suggestion from our Dropy Patreon Discord. <gasps> wow, thanks for being part of our Patreon. Yes, Thank you. not Kellogg's Tony suggested this. <laughs> Artists draw full res characters based on their pixelated video game sprites. You could choose less well-known characters to avoid knowing the characters look up front, like more obscure NES or N64 games. Oh, baby. I have done this. I have obtained sprite sheets from... NES games, the most of which I have never heard of before or were never released in America. Okay. I've got five of them here and we're going to random roll which ones we get. And then we're going to draw like the full character based on the sprite. Wow. Cool. So I'm going to pull up a random number generator. Oh, you didn't. You didn't have that ready, huh? It's ready now. I oh. got number two. Two. Number two. What you got? So the game this comes from is called Castle Excellent. That is a <laughs> wonderful name. Castle it, Excellent. It's an excellent name. And here's the sprite. Oh, what in the world? little guy. I actually really loved this one. I'm glad that I got oh. it. Silly. I tried to get ones that left a lot of room for interpretation. Yeah. Um, Old horned Santa. Yeah. Yeah, so I know nothing about this game. Okay. Um, Should I look up what it is? You can look it up. I think it had a different name maybe in America. It was called like, not Castlevania, maybe like Castle Quest. (laughs) Castlevania. This is actually Castlevania. (laughs) This guy was actually in the Netflix show Castlevania. He just looked disgusting. It is (laughs) Castle Quest. Yeah, Castle Quest. Yes. And I think it's not great based on what I was reading. (laughs) Nice. But it does have cute little sprites in it. I love cute little sprites. Me too. They're so charming. Yeah. I miss that shit. Oh, he's got a little Viking helmet? Yeah, he's got a little Viking helmet. And I imagine he's just sort of a scrungly little (laughs) little shit. (laughs) I never had an NES, but I've played a countless number of weird, obscure NES games because I grew up playing a lot of Filipino bootleg Game Boy cartridges where it's like 364 in one. Oh, yeah. But it's like three Game Boy Advance games and then like (laughs) a million NES ROMs of like shit I have never heard of and will never hear of again. (laughs) Stuff like that is so special. Yeah. Because it's just like, where did this come from? And where did it go? It doesn't look like he has a mouth. I'm reading. From what I can tell. (laughs) This is adorable. Yeah. This is so cute. I'm reading a summary of this game. You're trying to rescue a princess named Princess Margarita. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Who was kidnapped by devil Mephistopheles. Mr. Mistopheles? Mr. (laughs) Mistopheles. He kidnapped her for her singing. I mean, my favorite thing about all these like old ass NES games is that they have such like weird, quirky, specific lore, but you would never get most of that in the game itself. Oh, no. It, oh, it's all from the booklet. Not. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I can never remember like, oh, have I played this game? Who knows? Because I didn't have a booklet. Yeah. I didn't have anything. No. <laughs> I had the ROM of the game sandwiched between 300 other ROMs. Yeah. It, it that's does all say. You get. That she was confined to Glocken Castle. And then the hero's name, who I'm assuming is this. This is not the hero. This is an enemy sprite. Oh, okay. Well, the hero's name (laughs) is Raphael OG. Oh, that's fun. This is very fun. So I get the vibe from the sprite that he's wearing sort of like a wrestler's leotard. Singlet. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with like a deep V sort of oh, thing. Oh, I see. And then his legs are out. Oh, baby. And he's, oh, he's great. And he's ready to like wrestle anyone who... <laughs> Stanced up. Who gets in the way. <laughs> wow. Good luck getting by this fella to, yeah. get, the, to get the dang princess. His thighs rock hard. Just like his will. Yeah. That singlet's really riding up. It's really, it's pretty <laughs> tight. It's, uh... it's really sucking up in there. <laughs> he doesn't care about that. Yeah, he's too strong to care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if he has like, it doesn't look like he has shoes on. I think he's toes out. You're going very literal with this. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to like sort of interpret it the best yeah. way I can, you know. I can only do so much. When I Google searched uh, images for this, I think it thought I was like caveman speaking, uh, <laughs> trying to look up really nice pictures of castle. Castle, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's an excellent castle. Yeah, that's what you wanted, right? Castle, excellent. That's the other thing. There's like games that I kind of vaguely remember from my bootleg cartridges where yeah. they are ungoogleable. Yep. And I will never find them. <laughs> I had that system that was shaped like a penguin that had yeah! that had like all those games on it, like yeah. almost a thousand games or something. And it was all like there were so many Mario esque iterations on that thing. Oh my god, Where Link like, this Mario, is just Mar yeah. Sonic Mar, San Mari. <laughs> it's just like this is this is just Sonic, but the with Maria colors. sisters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen them all, baby. <laughs> I had one where like the letters didn't load. Ooh. ever so it was just like squares and i was like dog it's just mario yeah all right it's just it mario enemies. this is um, mario but wrong yeah there was one that was like mario slots it wasn't Mario's a mario game addiction. but it was a gambling one uh there was one that i just like i have the vaguest memory of this i really need to like go home and like go through my ds because i still have it and i still have one of the cartridges where it had this really, I had no idea what this game was. I think it was some sort of tactical game. It had this really MS Paint looking like load screen. It might have mm -hmm. just been like someone's indie project that ended up on this random thing. And I'm pretty sure it was called like Warren 18. But I cannot <laughs> Google that because it's mm. just going it, to, it's, yeah, it's ungoogleable. Ungoogleable. Yeah. <laughs> I need to look it up. Nothing you can do. <laughs> Jacob, you knocked this out this so is, fast. This is legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Thank you. I mean, I think he's done. This is, yeah. this is him. Yeah. He prevents you he's from going perfect. by. He's a perfect little fella. Yeah. Beautiful. This is the ideal. Well, all right, Karina, you want to go? Me. Hop on in. Okay. All right, Karina. What? I want to see number four. Number four, lag range point. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was a Japanese only RPG. It looks like an RPG. I'll... Called Lagrange Point. Lagrange? Like the, why did I read it lag range? <laughs> I mean, it could be lag range, I guess. Home, I don't, who knows? Hold on, Lagrange. <laughs> Lagrange is literally a place in Texas. It's a place in Georgia, too. I have family LaGrange. in LaGrange. <laughs> and I still said lag range. <laughs> uh, there were a bunch of different heroes in this one. And I just picked this one because I thought it looked really ambiguous yeah. in a way yeah. that I thought would be fun to interpret. Kind of looks like from where I'm sitting. Which, you know, I'm at a weird angle at a weird distance. Not really. Kind of looks like a power metal <laughs> spirit. It's like got a, like the power metal hair. Power metal forest spirit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the middle part long hair is kind yeah. of like spirit-esque. Can't tell if that's hair. I guess. I mean, it must be hair, but it could also be just like cloth. <laughs> a li oh, a true. lily pad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a really big leaf. <laughs> Oh, oh they make it a really cute. big leaf. <laughs> Maybe this character's leaf. really small. Oh. Tiny, tiny character. A little so-and-so. I think it has a tiara, but I want to read it as an eye. We love a good third eye. Yes. Yeah, yeah you can read it however you want. Makes my brush smaller only to make it bigger again. <laughs> That's what you want is an eyeball closer to your very long hairline. Yeah. So, so, so that you can never have bangs. <laughs> <laughs> always have hair poking your eye. 
Yeah, because that's what it looks like to me. I okay. truly enjoyed going through all of these NES sprites. I just found like a website that had a bunch of sprite rips. Yeah. Looking at sprites from games that I have never played and will never play is sometimes more fun than actually like playing these games. Because I just like <laughs> to imagine what they're about and like what these characters do and who they are. It's kind of like the same thing as being a kid and reading like the strategy guides for games that yeah. I didn't even play. And I would just imagine what the game was like. And it was almost always better than the actual game ended <laughs> up being. I mean, there was definitely like a summer in high school where I was fully just ride or die playing all of these like dumb fucking NES games. <laughs> like that was it was my favorite shit. I love Circus Charlie. I love Nuts and Milk. <laughs> nuts and Milk. You ever played Nuts and Milk? No. Nope. <laughs> it's it's got these little blobs. It's just blobs. Uh huh. You are the blue boy blob, and you have to rescue the pink girl blob. Sure. Or something. It's called Nuts and Milk. I don't know why it's called Nuts and Milk. I don't know why they're blobs. Look it up and tell me. <laughs> I also looked up this game, the one that you're drawing. LaGrange, LaGrange Point. Point. LaGrange Point. LaGrange takes place in Texas or Georgia. <laughs> the title of the game references LaGrangean Points, the five positions in space where a body of negligible mass could be placed, which would then maintain its position relative to two existing massive bodies. What the what? hell are they talking about? I don't know what about? you just talked about. I don't I, know what you just said. I also don't know. Uh, I clicked gameplay and it said this section needs expansion. <laughs> <laughs> no one's played this game. Plot. In the 22nd century. Oh no. Mankind has begun to emigrate into outer space. Uh, it has two colonies. There's a biohazard outbreak occurring in land two. Wonderful. All right, so this sounds real Gundam. This is a character design for the future? I guess so. It was so. just giving me medieval fantasy. I mean, you keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not going to yeah. stop. I'm yeah, just surprised. Stop. Upon arrival, the team was attacked by a group of robots, and the shuttle exploded due to the damage during the battle, knocking Gene out immediately after. Julia, this means nothing to me. Yeah, who's Gene? <laughs> but this game sounds wild. Just because it has a Gene in it doesn't mean it's wild. <laughs> is, is, it G, is it Gene with a G or Gene with a J? G. Okay, it's like the American Gene? Yeah. Uh, I will say also that this game got a score of 24.1 out of 30, and that is a wild scoring system to me. Yeah, why the point one? I don't know. Why 30? 30 is weird. Putting a point one is weird. It does say that this is one of the most technically advanced RPGs on the Famicom. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. So is this game like hot shit? Published in 1991 at a point where the system was losing ground to the 16-bit systems, its graphics are a huge step above the likes of Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest. Yeah, fuck those franchises. Never heard of them. Yeah, I'm a LaGrange Point stan. Yeah. <laughs> it has a relatively involved sci-fi conspiracy plot that contrasts with the typical medieval fantasy setting. <laughs> <laughs> and it's simply far more densely packed than most other similar titles on the system. So this game... Oh my god, there's like driving in this game. What the heck? What the hell? I wasn't expecting that. How many systems does this game have? Does that have a pet sim? Well, I'm looking at one of the enemies in this game. We discovered what it was called, where there's no head and the face is on the torso. Blemmy. Blemmy. There's a Blemmy in this game. <laughs> Blemmy? We learned what a Blemmy was, and now we can't get away from them. Damn, there it is. Oh, it's a blemmy. I love it. <laughs> I was looking at at the human characters in this game. Their names are Jin, Dennis, <laughs> Chris, Astro, Rita. Oh my God! There's robots named Tick and Tack. Aww. This game's got it all. This game's got everything. There's also a character just named Dan. 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 Hey, Dan. Dan, you have a Chris and a Dan in your name. In your game. <laughs> That's like two normal guy names. Yeah. Just uh, meeting up with Chris and Dan. We're going to go into space. You know, 
have some sort of like political drama. Just guys being dudes. Some wild enemy designs. I think she has elf shoes. This is adorable. Yeah, this is really cute. <laughs> this I is like so cute. How you've decided to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I just Can't. sitting. Yeah, just sitting on her tuckus. Just being silly. Yeah, taking a rest. It's giving me she, silly I think vibes. She's standing. Yeah, she's standing peek behind the curtain. Like, that's the feet. Oh! <laughs> she's <just> full <laughs> body. <laughs> oh, I she's, thought she was on her butt. And that's like her little legs and her little feeties are at the end. She's got big shoes. She got big clown shoes. She kind of has big clown shoes in the thing. She's going pop pop. <laughs> I like I like like the walking sprites where they're kind of toddling like a baby. <laughs> yeah, because they have baby proportions. Yeah, so they're like, I guess I walk like this now. It's the best they can do. Yeah, we're living in the future. We're in outer space. <laughs> baby geniuses. Oh, me, I'm from land too. Yeah. <laughs> Look up nuts and milk. I want to know about the okay. lore of nuts and milk. <laughs> All right. Can't believe y'all don't know nuts and milk. Nuts and milk. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're a circle. You have a girlfriend circle. You it was nuts. developed by Hudson Soft. That's a known developer. What did they do? Didn't they make like Bomberman or something? That tracks. They made Bomberman, Adventure Island, Star Soldier, and Bonk. Bonk. They they made bonk. They made bonk. They also developed video games released by other publishers such as Mario Party. They made That's bonk great. and Mario Party. And y'all don't know Nuts and Milk? <laughs> so here's the plot of Nuts and Milk. Yes. Set in a fantasy world. So no don't way. worry, this is not a documentary. Okay. Nuts and Milk follows the story of a pink male blob named Milk who finds his fiance yogurt. <laughs> fiance? <laughs> <laughs> His fiance yogurt. Oh a God. similar pink blob with a red hair bow oh. and rescues her from nuts. A teal blob who also vies for her affection. The journey will take milk through several levels where the process of finding and saving his love will repeat itself several times <laughs> <laughs> as nuts mounts. An ever-present resistance against his quest for romance. Nuts mounts. <laughs> no, no. Ha, ha, My nuts. Candy. Don't mount. Don't mount. <laughs> Please. I'm just a little milk. I'm just milk. Yeah, that tracks. Give I love yogurt that game. back. I like that game because when you fall like off of a high platform, you don't really take fall damage, but you get stunned for a second. So uh, you're milk, right? Yeah, you're milk. Nuts yeah. is the bad one. Yeah, so uh, uh, milk just like falls off the platform, lands on the side of his little blob body and just kind of stays there like that <laughs> for a second, uh, which makes it hard because you're being chased, but it's it makes me laugh But every it's a time. relatable feeling. Yeah. It's probably what I would do if I fell. I think more video game characters should just like plop on their side like you just tipped a cow. Yeah, and then they just stay there yeah. and accept their fate. I will say that a version of Nuts and Milk resembling the Famicom release has since been ported to mobile phones. Oh my god. What? I we be... can play Nuts and Milk I mobile? Play... Yeah. And then it was ported to the Game Boy Advance. Yo. But only in Japan. Oh. It's sounds not, like it's gonna... not a very extensive game. Why would you port it? <laughs> so everyone can experience I'm the checking story the Play Store. Yeah, that's of fair. nuts and milk. What does a leaf look like? <laughs> What does a leaf look like? There's no way to know. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a leaf. I feel like you did it. Yeah. She has hair underneath. Yeah. As I said so. She's She's got bangs, but they have to be like those really, really weirdly short bangs. Oh, to like yeah. To not cover the eye. She's so cute. She's just a little guy. Yeah, this is adorable. She's got little hands and big clown shoes. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I can see the future. Yeah. What do you want to know about it? I'm on the moon. <laughs> I'm on the moon. I see the future. It's normal. She has a big, big, like, uh, what's it called? It's like a trail. I keep reading her feet as legs with little feet at the end. <laughs> It's really cute. Like she's uh, spluting. Yeah. yeah. No, she's not spluting. Let me add some shoelaces. Do not say she's spluting if you're watching <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. How dare you? That is non canonical. Yeah. <laughs> Give her some tricked out sneakers so that it's clear that they're shoes. Even in the future, you still have shoelaces. 
Yeah, <laughs> they haven't. <laughs> they never found a way to move past that. Not really. Okay, there she is, Splute. I don't Cute. know her name. <laughs> Splute. Her Nobody Splute does now. know her name. Her name is Splute. Princess Splute. Princess Splute on the moon. <laughs> I'm going to write that down so I remember. Princess Splute on the moon. Cute. <laughs> She's perfect. She's, She's perfect the hero we need. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. It's time Thank for me you. to draw. Yeah. All right, Jacob. What is my number? Your number is number five. <gasps> Peach Boy Legend. Oh, Peach I love this one. What? <laughs> 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 Retound. He's retound. <laughs> <laughs> He's going down to Rotound Town. So, He's so cute. <laughs> this one's from a game called Peach Boy Legend, as you can tell. Uh -huh. He's definitely not the hero. What? I, I saw which sprite was the hero, and then I looked down and I saw this one, and I was like, I don't care who this is. <laughs> this is the one we're doing. Yeah, I don't care who it is. I've imprinted on it. The one that, if you look on the sprite sheet, Julia, uh -huh. the two bottom middle ones where it looks like he's looking back over his shoulder at you, <laughs> I think are so funny. <laughs> like yeah, maybe just, I actually want to draw that. You're looking at his ass and he's looking back <laughs> over his shoulder. Gotcha. Like, are you looking at my ass? Yeah, I want to draw that. I want to draw that pose. That is very good. <laughs> This is so good. He do, from where I'm sitting, look like ranking of kings. Oh, yeah. He kind of does look like, um, I wanted to call him Boofy. <laughs> it's Who Boji. the fuck is Boofy? He looks like Boji, not Boofy. <laughs> Boofy is knockoff Goofy. <laughs> we got Goofy at home. The Goofy at home a yuck. <laughs> so apparently Peach Boy is a popular hero of Japanese folklore. Yeah, the, oh. the, the guy, the peach guy. He's the peach guy. He's the peach guy. What's, what's the story? He was born from a giant peach. Yeah, he's the one that was born in the peach. He's the oh, baby he's about in to the have peach. A, he's about to have a big peach. In, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, in Animal Crossing, when you make the peach toy, there's a baby inside. That's he's right. the baby. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't actually know the legend. I just know there's a baby inside of a peach. <laughs> well, maybe you'll like to know that when he was just five years old, he was able to cut a big tree with just an old knife. Whoa, that just, I mean, I think anyone could do that with enough time and patience. <laughs> it's just not very efficient. But when he matured into adolescence, he left his parents to fight a band of Oni. Oh. And he, he, he freaking went to Demon Island to fight them. Demon Island, no. And he befriended a talking dog, monkey, and pheasant. Wow. Yeah. So he's got it all, basically. Yeah. Oh, Momotaro, that's the name. Yeah, yeah Momotaro. Momo something. I got to look up the game itself. Yeah. But then who is this fella? I don't know who this guy is. I just like him. I imagine I he's like, like him too. a townsperson or something. Oh. Just like a random NPC. He's just a guy. Oh, I found the sprite sheet. Also yeah. made by Hudson Soft. <laughs> what? Hey, nuts and milk. Nuts, nuts and, and milk. milk. Nuts and milk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hudson Soft. Hudson Soft just keeps feeding. Yeah, this is just a random guy, huh? Yeah, he's just sort of a guy. <laughs> I love him. But if he's just a guy, they didn't have to make him have the most charming shape, shape and yeah. set and sprite that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, they didn't need to do that, but they did. Yeah. Why? They probably didn't mean to. No, they knew what they were doing. Because they, if they had made this one first, they would be like, "This has to be the hero." Because <laughs> he's too charming. <laughs> oh, he's worried. <laughs> you looking at my? You looking at my peach? You looking at my peach? Not my peach. <laughs> Ooh, what a what, that was a very sensual curve you had drawn there oh before you changed it. You were afraid. I was yeah, afraid. Fair. Oh, look at that peach! Oh my god, he's peached up on a Tuesday. <laughs> Peached up on a Tuesday. <laughs> Damn, if you watch this episode and you get peached up, let us know in the oh. comments. <laughs> Hit that bell if you're peached up on yeah. a Tuesday. 
Yeah. If you get even a little bit peached up, you have to subscribe. Yeah. You owe us. You owe us. <laughs> We're on that 2 million creep. Yeah. And the reason we haven't hit 2 million yet is because people keep getting peached up, but they aren't subscribing. Yeah. So, you know, 2 million peach. 2 million peach. <laughs> We're on that 2 million peach. We're on that 2 million peach. <laughs> I'm just looking up like other games that I liked to play. I liked Mappy. Y'all play Mappy? Oh, I know Mappy. That's I like fucking the mouse. love Mappy. Bro, I fucking love Mappy. Are yeah, you seeing I love, this guy? I love the way he opens doors and he jumps. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so Little fucking mouse. cute. Um, there was another one I really liked where I don't remember the name and I don't know if this is a well-known one or what. It very well may be, but you're a car so you're like this red car and there's platforms and you can jump between platforms or you can just let the car fall to like lower yourself to the next platform and then to the ground and you have to like avoid other cars and then shoot them and then knock them out. But one of the obstacles in the game is a cat and you can't like touch the cat like you can't shoot the cat to like get it out of the way you just have to avoid the cat because if you hit the cat it immediately ends your game and the cat will just be like dee -dee 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 -dee, and it like just slowly like flies away because you hit it so hard <laughs> that's amazing i forgot what that i don't know I what that I wanna is i want to say is it like city connection <laughs> another ungoogle <laughs> Uh, thing. Yes, it's City Connection. I remember something. I think this is it. City Connection. Oh my God, the box art for this slaps. Let me see. Oh, it's so good, actually. Whoa. Yeah, the, I love that. The music for the game is good. That's my favorite thing about it, but this fucking cat, dude. Yeah, and there's cop cars, so you have to, like, avoid the cop cars and then, like, get them to crash sorry i just found the cat <laughs> oh my god the you... cat looks like such a smug little shit too. yeah because if you hit the cat even once like that's fucking it and the cat's like oh can you come and hit me yeah buster oh, you're gonna hit me i'm gonna do this do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> it just slowly flies away <laughs> i love this game it said and nintendo it's... switch on that image can you get that game on the switch wait oh my Actually, it might be on their archive. Um, they got City Connection on Switch? I have no idea. Well, I got it on the Game Boy Advance <laughs> on my DS because I got in the fucking Philippines. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. So you can either play it on the Switch or go to the Philippines. Yeah, easy, easy. Oh, you're, you're peaching them up even further. I want them to like really be reaching over. Like peaching over, peaching over, <laughs> peaching over. Are you looking at me while I'm peaching? <laughs> I want there to be a whole game about this guy where you are him and your goal is to not let anyone look at your beautiful peach. They've already made when they had all those weird flash games. Remember like the Elsa flash games? Oh, yeah. Wasn't that one of them where it's like you have to kiss Jack Frost. But if Olaf catches you like game over. <laughs> That's like this, but you're trying to... <laughs> yeah, but you're trying to get a peek at dead ass, but if he catches you, he claps you. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's two different games. There's one where you're trying to, to peek at his peach, mm -hmm. and one where you're him trying to hide your peach from prying eyes. <laughs> Just wear pants. No, that's out of the question. <laughs> no, he's, he's wearing, he's wearing those like, like, yoga pants. <laughs> those oh, like leotards that yeah. like go under your foot. Oh yeah, so it's just really that tight. That you step pants. into, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just what I find comfortable, but everyone I keeps looking at my him. peach. I love him so. Much. He's so cute. He's See? very good. He's so yeah, cute and needs to have more confidence. Uh, I have a nose. <laughs> yeah. A nose option. I think it should be a little like circle. Put it like, it's like over, a fucking Animal Crossing villager. No, like a tiny circle. Put it over close to his far eye since he's turning. Oh. So, something like that. That is cute. Meow. That is a cute one. 
Yeah, I love him. Oh, yeah. he's precious. <laughs> precious moments. You're make... the peach boy to me. <laughs> make a little figure of this. <laughs> Selling the Hallmark store. <laughs> Everyone's going to be buying this one up. Yeah, they're like, why is this? Why is bus so big? <laughs> it's going to be it. like one of those $250 figurines that has like a, a setting. <laughs> a butt setting? Where it has like, maybe he's like moving some boxes. You know? uh, oh my god. Oh, what if there's like a bunch of different <laughs> backgrounds you can put him in where he's yeah. like doing something different? Yeah. <laughs> it's like interchangeable sets. I'm sorry, but it's like hitting me in waves that... Because this is like Momotaru era, uh, Taro era, old Japan folklore. <laughs> but he's like wearing fucking leggings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's ahead of his time, okay? Oh my God, I love him. And the leggings are also apparently hot pink. Hot yeah. pink. Like, the bright, like a pink they might not even have been able to create in that era. <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> I love it. I think this is adorable. This is very good. Yeah. <laughs> Great work, Julia. I Thank love you. I love sprite work. Yeah. It's so charming to me. Yeah. It really is. The one where he's turning away is very funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> when you catch him at the mall, you walking away. Well, I hate to see you walk away, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> if you hate to see us walk away, but love to watch us leave, hit like and subscribe on this video because we, we're leaving, baby. Yeah. yeah. Bye. And while we're out of the room, if you're shy, but you want to support us, you can go ahead and, and go to our Patreon yeah. and, and we won't look while you subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. And if your name is... Milk, and you are rescuing your fiance yogurt from nuts. Check out our merch store. We got something that'll help you in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Winks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we also stream every week on Twitch, Monday yeah. night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for watching. We're sorry. 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 I love nuts and milk.